What up, though? It's your boy DJ Star back with another unboxing. And before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still pushing for subscribers. And make sure you check the links down below. It's always some dope content time that you may have missed. So with that being said, as you can see, this is the Air Jordan 13 box. You got a standard silver box with a red jumpman on it. And today we are going over the Air Jordan 13 French Blues. Now I want to say these are going to release at $200. Um, it should be August 19th, 2022 for a retail price of about $200. And um, that's this coming Saturday. So um, I don't know. Um, I think the shoe is, is clean, man. I just didn't go for them, so I didn't do any raffles or anything. Um, I did see that Dix was giving out the wristbands for them, but I didn't do anything to try to get on with them. But I mean, it's a nice shoe. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I'm just going to pass on it. But let's go over the shoe. As always, you start at the bottom, and as you see, you got your standard Air Jordan 13 traction. You got your um, paw prints all done in herringbone, and then you got your. Um, carbon fiber shank plate in the middle real carbon fiber and this member is only a shank plate because it's in the middle and then you got um zoom air knees i want to say it's full length is it full length or is it two pods i want to say it's um full length it comes from the heel all the way about right here to the toe you know what i'm saying zoom air and then you got another jewel right there with the red with the jump man in it that actually is kind of a low key you know part that's um you know, just not disrespectful, but looked over on the Air Jordan 13, but that is super slick how that sits there. And it don't do anything to your traction or make it weird in any way. And then you get up to the um, the top of the paws, they done in white. And I don't know what it is about Air Jordan 13 white, when they white got these white paws, but man, once they get dirty, you can't bring them back. I mean, you gotta, I think you have to repaint them because you just, once they get dirty, it's like hard to get the dirt off of them. Or if they start to age and tan, you just gotta paint them, man. But they done in a crisp clean white, and you can see on the outside, on the bottom, the panther paws are outlaid, but a, a nice little gray right there. Then you get up to the midsole and up to the top right here, and you got that, that synthetic, they call it synthetic suede, but it feels like felt to me. I don't know, maybe I need to get, put the definition of what felt is in the description or in the video somewhere so I know from going forward on my 13s. But this really just don't even feel like, it don't feel like suede or new buck or anything premium. It just feel like felt, just like, cheap cotton or something but it's done in that french blue that's camera's kind of throwing it off but it's um it's not a navy it's like a light navy it's kind of what a french blue is and it wraps all the way from back here all the way around to the back where you got your air jordan 23 panther eye which is one of the slickest part of the air jordan 13s and um all the way up the back then you got your side panel and it's just just regular synthetic leather it's not real at all it's no leather on this shoe it's all synthetic synthetic leather and then you get your toe box which is make great it's kind of clean but you know then your tongue is synthetic with your perforations and then or perforations and then you got your all red stitch jump man right in there and then remember on your air jordan um 13 you got the jordan tag and then behind it spell out 13. when you get to the medial side of the shoe you just see more of that um synthetic suede what i'm still call it felt on on the shoe and it, it feels nice to the touch and then that white synthetic leather and that's really about it. The, in, the um, install on the sock liner is done in all white, so you know that's gonna get dirty unless you're wearing your white socks. Because if you put on your black socks, it's gonna get dirty. On the inside, you got a French blue um, insole, and you got a uh, white jump man on it. So that's really about it for these, man. Tell me what you think of the Air Jordan 13 French blue. Like I said, this is like another shoe I don't need. And if you sit back and kind of look at it. Uh, I really like my, to be honest, I like all my 13s to have this panel right here done in um, 3M. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I love 3M and I would prefer that on it. But also, these are just too much like the um, Air Jordan 13 Flints. It's like damn near the reverse where you got the gray down here, you got navy, and then of course you got 3M on there. And that's where your navy hits is. It ain't French blue, it's navy right here with the, um, right here with that um, flint gray. So I just like felt I really didn't need the shoe, but it's a nice shoe and all. You know, and 13s are comfortable for wide footers. So I don't know, I'll let me look at the um, size run of these. This size run on this one looks like it was this uh, February 23rd to May 20. So about three months. So I'm, I'm not sure if these are gonna be all family size, and I think it is a full family size run. And it should be released this um, October, not October, I'm sorry, August 19th. 
um, for retail price of $200. So that's it, man. Drop a comment down below and tell me if you're going for them. Like I said, I'm passing on them. I just don't need them in my collection. But they're still a dope shoe. But um, yeah, just comment down below and tell me what you think of the Air Jordan 13. What is it called again? The Air Jordan 13 uh, French Blue. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And please like, comment, and share the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still pushing for those subscribers. So with that being said, as always, we're going to get out of here. Love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.